Hi, it's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. Today we're looking at a KitchenAid, which is basically a Whirlpool design. And so basically the problem was that the timer did not advance. So the timer did not advance manually. And so what I did is I pulled the timer apart to see if there were any burnt connections. And of course this unit here is unplugged, so. But this unit here didn't have any burnt plugs, any burnt points on it. And so what I did is like I'm doing with this one here, this is a spare timer. Spare timer, get it? Anyway, this one here I've hooked up directly to a 110 line, and don't try this at home because you could get bit. This video is for informational purposes only because working on appliances may be hazardous. So what I've done is, when I originally tested this one, I, mar I, run I ran the 110 line directly up to the motor here. And so basically the motor has these two black wires that come off of it. And I ran the 110 directly up to these two wires. You have to be careful with these wires here because they can become disengaged from this sort of plug that goes inside that motor. And if they do, you, get, you gotta be real careful because if you actually pull that plastic thing off, you may never get that thing to work again. So, be careful with that. And so what I've done on this one, I took my little handy dandy knife and I marked a line on the gear. So here's the gear right here. And I have the one line, 110 line hooked up directly to the motor on this one. And so I'm going to just let it run and see if this cog here advances. I've got the I've got it marked towards the center so I can see if it's moving either way. And I'll watch it for a little while to see if it advances. Now if this motor advances, what I'll do is take the motor off this one because this motor does not advance. I've already tried it. I've marked it, watched it for four or five minutes and that little cog there at the end of the motor did not move at all. So if this one moves, what I'll try and do is take that motor out of that one and put it in this one. The alternative to this would be, you can go to a hardware store and buy a sort of generic timer, like a range hood timer and you can hook it up in line with the door switch. You have to trace the lines from the door switch in order to do that, and then hook your timer up directly. Either on the side here, it's plastic, it's easy to drill into, or on the front. Okay, we got the old motor out, and the new motor in. New old motor, new usable motor. And we can hear that it's moving. And I actually just set this on the 20 mark and it's already advanced down to the 10 mark. So that means success. Another machine saved from the recycling crusher. Thanks to Bill's Recycling Enterprises. If you'd like to send us a donation, please do so. It's Bill's Recycling Enterprises, P.O. Box 7021, Eureka, California, 95502. If you need any help, you can also contact me, 707-445-1591.
and or send me an email z underscore fixitman at yahoo.com. Thank you.